In this session, we will be talking about finding the domain and range of an exponential functions. We know that domain is the set of all x's and range is the set of all y's. I have already graphed here the first and the second y. These are the base graph. This one is an increasing function and this is the graph. This one is a decreasing function and this is the graph. And this one is just a reflection of this graph since this one is negative. Okay. How are we going to get the domain of this? Always remember that whatever your graph is, it intersects or it goes always in all x's from negative infinity to positive infinity. So whatever your graph is, whatever your base is, it covers always negative infinity to positive infinity. So therefore, your domain always, the domain of an exponential function is always the set of all x's such that x is an element of the set of real numbers. And in interval notation, this one is negative infinity up to positive infinity. Okay. Remember that. Now, what about the range? Of course, the range varies. Because sometimes the graph moves to the left, to the right, or goes up and down. In this base function, your range here, of course, this one is asymptotic to the x-axis, meaning it moves closer and closer to this but never touches the x-axis. So therefore, y is greater than 0. So in set notation, this is how you will write it. In interval notation, this one is from 0 to positive infinity. Okay. Here in the... Decreasing function where your base is less than 1 but greater than 0, still, as you can see, it never touches the x-axis. Therefore, it is its horizontal asymptote and the, the range is also greater than 0. So this one is from 0 up to positive infinity. What about this one? If this is a reflection, how are we going to get the range? Of course, as you can see, this is again asymptotic to the x-axis. So it never goes up, meaning your range will be the set of all y such that y is less than 0. So... In interval notation, this one is negative infinity. You have to start from the negative always, the least, and then zero. Okay. Now, what about number three and number four? How are we going to get the domain and the range of that? Of course, as I have said, three and four, its domain is already the set of all real numbers. So, how are we going to find the range? Let's do that. So, may I erase this one? This one? And this one. It says here, y is equal to a raised to x plus b. If b is greater than 0, you have to move to the left. If b is less than 0, you have to move to the right. We are referring to this. y is equal to a raised to x plus b. If b is greater than 0, you have to move, move up. And then if b is less than 0, you have to move down. So, always graph the base function. The base function is 2 raised to x. How are we going to apply this? So, meaning... If this is 1, we need to move all the points to the left, one unit. And then you have to move down 
two units down all points. So let's do it. So that will be, this is the original point. This one is two, four. So you have to move to the left one and then move down two. So this is one, two. So here is the point. Next, what about this point? You have to move one and then move two. Here is the point. Okay. Again, this is the point. You have to move to the left one and then move down one, two. Okay, next. This is the point. Move to the left one and then move down two. So this is one and this is two. Okay. And finally, one and then two. One, two. So here is the graph. Okay. So therefore, what will be our range here? What will be our range here? Of course, this one is asymptotic to y negative 2. This one is asymptotic to y negative 2. Therefore, we can conclude that our range will be the set of all y such that y is greater than negative 2. So, in interval notation, this one is negative 2 up to positive infinity. That's it. What about if we have this one, negative 2 raised to x plus 3? So, plus 3, meaning we have to move all points up 3 units. So, that will be 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3. And then this one is 1, 2, 3. And then this one is 1, 2, 3. Here. Okay. Here. So therefore, what will be our range here? Our range here, as you can see, this one again is asymptotic to positive 3. So meaning to say, your range will be y such that y is less than 3. Or in interval notation, this will be negative infinity up to positive 3.